Hello and welcome to another SH Figure Arts review and so our four turtles are complete from the classic line with the release of Michelangelo, the last of the four turtles to get released but that's not the last Ninja Turtle thing, they have teased a Shredder Figure Arts which might actually be the first ever decent Shredder from the classic cartoon in the figure form so who knows, there's uh, no dates or whatever uh, mentioned about the release so is it just a uh, you know, a, a showcase or showroom thing, will they ever release it? I hope they do. Um, quick look at the back of this box uh, before it goes into the recycle bin. And here we go, Michelangelo, same box art style as all the other Ninja Turtle figure arts, following the sort of brick and sewer motif, of course, with more orangey color because Michelangelo's color is orange. And you have a nice cartoony depiction of Michelangelo on the side right there. And here's a top look at the box. And back, same box art style, showcasing different poses and accessories that come with him. Sliding them out, he has an orange backing card, of course, just like all the other turtles having a backing card of their respective colour, as well as, of course, the instruction sheet. Now, as always, if you want to take a look at the instruction sheet, photo shoot the figure, as well as uh, shoot the box, please feel free to head over to the Flickr or Facebook link in the video description below. And here we go. This actually is quite secure. There we go. So, inside here, the base... <laughs> there goes things falling out, because there's actually quite a lot of stuff in here. Um, well, let's see if I can uh, hold this up without everything falling. No, no, some things will fall out, such as the nunchaku. Ooh. Right, so apart from the fists already on him, just like all the other turtles, he has uh, spray open hands, relaxed hands, and of course, item holding hands. And he has a alternative expression head right there, as well as a back uh, belt gear that you can swap out to hold his nunchucks in there. And he has two sets of nunchucks. Let me just zoom all the way in for these. There you go. So the first set of nunchucks has a metal chain through the middle. So this is for the you know, more realistic look, I guess, and actual swinging and whatever and stuff. And uh, it's painted pretty well. It looks pretty nice. And there's also two sets of nunchucks, uh, the second set of nunchuck is this one here, which is a solid plastic uh, for posing and display purposes. It is a little bit durable, but I wouldn't bend it too much because it will snap. So we got uh, you know two of each. Uh, the hard plastic nunchuck also has a second one, is a bit more bent than the other one. So you can do different poses and stuff, and that's pretty cool. I'm glad that they did that. Um, I, when I was getting this, I was like, oh crap, it's going to have like metal chain nunchucks in there, which is great and all, but how am I going to pose that with uh, digital effects and all that? And finally, you also have the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles accessory, his uh, little hook shot. Which does actually have articulation, the hook can actually close in. And not all the way though, so it's got, still does it still pops out a little bit. And it has actual string here with a piece of plastic on the end with a hole in it. So yeah, actual string. So um, a little bit lit, just a tiny bit elastic y feel to it. But um, so I guess if you break this or something, you just get enough rope to uh, tie it up and stuff. So here's Mikey, and just like every single turtle, the base body is pretty much identical, as well as the hand accessories. So if you lose any hand accessories, you can just use some, one from the other turtles and uh, you know, do that, because uh, try not to lose them. So as always, I actually uh, pretty much never keep this one on. Uh, I always have these ones on. Uh, which way does it go? This way, I think. Yeah, oh, there you go. Uh, I, I see no reason to keep the other ones on when uh, these are on display. Let's see how well these nunchaku fit in there. One, oh, two. Oh, there you go. There's actually a little bump inside the the, the belt strap, so it um, you know fits with the bumps of the nunchaku itself. So, if you don't know already, the, the uh, logo here on the belt is actually a die cast piece of metal and so is anything from below this joint. So, uh, is the joint itself metal? I think, no, that's plastic still. But the feet down, the joint there is metal and so are the actual feet and lower legs. So everything down there is metal. And that's really good for these figures. Um, everything down here is all metal. It makes it easier to pose due to their bulky size and cause no since the top is plastic, it's going to be lighter, so it'll be much easier to pose these guys with the metal feet. 
And uh, even though they're metal, it still looks plasticky due to the way they've painted everything. So that's pretty good. And just like all the other turtles, the front shell is made of soft rubbery plastic, so you can go doo 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 doo. <laughs> and there is a figure joint underneath there, but um, I mean, posability is going to be limited still due to. Oops. <laughs> oh, metal joint. Uh, due to the, how big and bulky these guys are, so not too much uh, body articulation, but this is there. Oh, now I'm going to have to spend a while snapping this back in. I'm glad the joints are metal, though. To how big this is, if it were plastic joints, they'll break so easily. So anyway, let's go through the articulation. You got the double neck joint there, so you look down, look up, full rotation on the head, and got a sideways, sideways, and they got the shoulder joint there that pops out with the double ball socket. So you up, down, make mouse noises. Ooh, ow, ooh, <laughs> that's not nice. Uh, uh, full rotation here, full rotation here. Um, double elbow joint, hands on a little fist ball socket thing going on. And that torso goes, you can lean back a little bit, go lean sideways just a little bit. It can rotate just a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, and these belt straps are also made of rubbery plastic and they're quite tight on him, so um, I actually do wonder if they will break easily, but um, they don't seem to be because they're quite thick material. Uh, leg goes down, leg goes up, very small down, so it's very small up, full rotation here, up, up, sideways, ooh, really sideways, right a kick, <laughs> uh, kneecap joint, double knee joint there, covered up mostly by the uh, knee guard, and of course foot goes up, back, sideways, sideways, it's just a ball peg right there, and uh, ooh, Hoo hoo, metal. Cyborg, um. What's the cyborg? What's the robot turtle? Forgot its name. Foot, toes go up and toes go tippy toes. Yeah, that's a lot of movement with this guy. And as always, if you want to swap the heads, you gotta pull this out. Softish plastic peg, swap the head, and then plug this into the other head. As easy as that. And yeah, he feels so easy to stand due to the metal feet. These guys are great. Now they are a little bit pricey, a little bit more expensive than your regular fig arts, but the price has gone on just a little bit now that all four turtles have come up. I think due to overstock in Hong Kong. So if you like Ninja Turtles, I'd already recommend picking these up. And uh, if you compare these with the classic lines from um, uh, whoever releases them, Playmates over in the USA, these are way, way better. And if you compare these to the uh, movie style figures, which are complete insults because they're just a darker color of the classic line, that's just ridiculous. These look way more like the cartoons than the classic line over there. And I really hope that figure arts would move to the next step and perhaps have a chance of releasing some of the movie figures from 1989. That would be amazing. I really want that. And the Super Shredder from uh, The Secret of the Use, that'd be great. Articulation is really excellent on these. And uh, yeah, the shell does limit it a little bit, but then again, if you think about it, the turtles have a little bit of limitation anyway due to the shape of the shell. So it's not really the fault of the figure. It's just, you know, in a way it's realistic. He's not gonna move as much more than he can in the cartoon. And that's fair enough. He comes with all the appropriate accessories. There's a chain nunchaku and a plastic one just so you can do different poses. I'm so glad that they did that. And they also gave him the little hook shot thing, rope thing that he has later because nunchucks are too violent. <laughs> version of the cartoon, which is fine because, you know, it's one of his main accessories. So I'm glad it comes with all of those. And in hindsight, it now makes sense why he, you know, Mikey's not the one with the pizza piece, but uh, Donatello came with it because they filled his box up with these extra nunchaku in Mikey's box. I decided, well, we got to have pizza somewhere, so let's give it to Donatello. Would have been nice if uh, Donatello had one of those science little machines that he makes sometimes, but hey, um, what we have here is still pretty excellent. Paint job's great, articulation's great, molding is great, the feel, the figure is awesome, and now that all four are together, you can definitely appreciate them even more. So definitely check this out, no matter where you are. If you don't, if you only have the classic line, you still might want to consider picking these up because these blow the classic lines way out of the water, and you know they're actually screen accurate, unlike the classic line. And you also have different faces, more accessories, everything just is so much nicer. So. Perhaps try and look for Hong Kong sellers, because like I said, the price has gone down a little bit. 
and uh, definitely get your turtles there. You know, the more people buy these, the more there's a chance that Bandai will release Shredder, perhaps even a Splinter. That would be really, really cool if they release a Splinter. And of course, our everyone's favorite character, Vernon. Oh, hey! <laughs> uh, as always, please click the like button, subscribe button if you haven't done so already to check out more videos from this channel as I release videos when I can, like one a day. <laughs> I'm catching up with all these different toys. And as always, you can also check out my previous videos on the reviews of previous Ninja Turtle figure arts and other figures, as well as Ninja Turtle bootlegs and of course Lego toys that were released a while ago, and Mega Blocks, which I will be doing the new Mega Blocks, but I've also reviewed the old line of Mega Blocks if you've not seen those before. Hopefully you can check those videos out with an ad block, uh, because with, with ad block I won't be able to do this at all. And you can also support this channel on Patreon if you think this channel deserves it, as I'm also trying to do animation on my other channel. As always, you don't have to do any of that. Take care, have a nice day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye now. Kawabunga!